glad to see you again, Mr. Reed. Did you see what happened? No. I was coming back to the shelter from work when I heard an awful scream, and there was this man, dead, just in front of the building. You saw nothing at all? No. I told you, just that awful woman's scream. A woman's scream? Are you sure? Of course. It was terrifying. I thought it was my sister, so I ran. But it was a man I've never seen round here before. Goodbye, Miss Paxton. Good evening, Miss. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Good evening, sir. My name is Giselle Paxton. Have we met before? That's quite judgmental of you. Sir, I've led enough... Did you see what just happened? No, I didn't. Really? Because this sexist pig is one of the four men who blacklisted me. Good riddance, if you ask me. May I ask what you do for a living? I'm killing myself scraping for a living. And you? Have you ever had to struggle in your entire life? As I told you, I'm a doctor. Oh, a doctor. Hmm, born with money in a nice house, were we? Was Daddy a banker, or a doctor himself? Why such hatred? Are you judging me by my clothes and my job? Of course I am. Fuck, you're so blind! You don't even see your privilege! Lazy people like you disgust me. What can you tell me about this vicinity? Tell you what, just spend a few weeks here, and then ask me that question again. If you're still alive, I mean. If you have something to say, say it. I'm getting tired of all this. Oh. You want information instead? Well, here's some for you. Giselle Paxton does not like you at all, Doctor. You don't know me, Miss Paxton, and yet you see me as an enemy. Oh, your manners, your clothes, your words tell me everything about you, sir. I know your kind, and you don't belong here. You're right, Miss Paxton. My clothes and my manners do speak for me. And I may not belong here, but that doesn't make me a bad person. You tell me, Dr. Reed. You tell me. What can you tell me about this vicinity? Tell you what. Just... You speak of strikes and class and... You bet I am. Well, I was. Nowadays, I'm just another worker blacklisted by the big companies. You lost your job because of your beliefs. Those bastards really hate a worker who refuses slave wages and unsafe conditions, especially when it's a woman. Isn't the whole point of trade unions to help workers in need? Why don't they support you? A few nights back, I lost the money my companions had asked me to hide. With me and my sister being penniless, they thought I stole it. What really happened? I drank too much that night. Strange men saw me count the money in that bar. Some sort of militia in uniform. I'm sure they robbed me. Well, I'll leave you for now. Goodbye, Miss Paxton.
best be moving on. Look lively! It's on to us! <laughs> Twenty-nine Pretty Orchard Street. This is it. What's in there for me? There's been a fight here. This woman's neck were made by the fangs of a vampire. Only a golden watch in her pockets. Shoes and clothes are quite worn out. This is the very flower my mother tossed on Mary's coffin. Someone is targeting my family. Given no choice in the matter, I might as well win it. Jonathan. A 
was that? I won't let you escape. You're very fast, but I'll catch you. They've all been butchered. Are you all right, Miss Shun? I do apologize, Xiao Shun. Are you all right? Yes, I am. This is the only... Have you re... I heard that she used to help... Tell me how your husband died. Matthew died of the Spanish flu, like so many others. It's a mundane cause of death these days. But for me, it meant the end of the world. At this time, there is so little medical science can do to defeat this terrible epidemic. I'm truly sorry. The worst thing is not his death, even if it tears me apart. The worst is not to have seen... Did he hide his... Con Matthew was a smiling type. The Spanish flu may be... You don't understand. I didn't know he was... As harsh as this sounds, we I never said goodbye to Matthew. Are you on your own? Do you have any... I have family and friends. Sadness can be a terrible trap. Thank you for your sincere words, Dr. You realize you can't stay here for... Why? Why should I go? But you're not dead. You sound like you're not... Let's just say... Please accept my condol... Are you a doctor yourself? No, I am not. But I... I'm a physician. Why tell me this? Is it some... No. But I felt I... May I ask... You could say she was also killed by a terrible disease. Thank you for sharing that with me, Dr. Reed. You should go home now. I think you're right. Sep Thank you for your company, Xiaoshun. Maybe I'll see you again in one... Goodbye for now. What have you done? Vicar Larrabee? What happened? Demon! Hell Scourge! Son of Perdition! Vicar! <laughs> Vicar! Jonathan's no demon. He's just a soul. Returned from the dead. Like your Christ, Vicar. Mary? Is it really you? Oh, it's me, all right. Precious brother. What is Mother doing here? I'm gathering the family for a final reunion. All smiling, all dead. Thanks to the good Dr. Reed. Mary. 
Mother? Say hello to your son. Hello, Jonathan. Mother, I... What do we have here, Mother? The prodigal son has lost his tongue. Our Jonathan always had the first and last word at dinner. The entertainer, the star of our show. I'm sorry. Let me explain. Shut up. It's my turn to do the talking. I have this nasty hole in my chest, Johnny. It needs to breathe. Of course. You can speak. My prayers went so long without an answer. My husband killed in France. My child carried away by the flu. My brother promising to return in his letters, then disappearing in thin air. I went from hospital to hospital, cemetery to cemetery, grave to grave. I've lifted every stone in London, searching for an end to the nightmare. And there you were, in front of me, on a dark pier. The hunger had taken me. The joy to have finally found you. I longed for your arms, a final happy ending to so much tragedy, to tell me all would be well again, as you did when we were children. <laughs> it was this filthy dock where you greeted your sister. I dug. A tunnel from my grave with my fingers and teeth! Mary. I thought I had murdered you. I tried to end myself. We've been through the same horror. We are a disease, Jonathan. A sickness that corrupts all it touches. All we kiss, and all we kill. Look at me. Admire your ilk. I'm so sorry. Apologies will not suffice. I demand reparation. I want a miracle. Are you a miracle worker, Dr. Reed? No? <laughs> I'll show you mine then. The family Reed, reunited and complete. Living forever in a red sea of eternal love. Time to go, Mother. Say hello to my son for Mary, me. Mary, wait. I have made friends with vital knowledge. Vampires. We are not alone, Mary. With time, we can learn to live almost as we lived before. How long? What? How long will this masquerade continue? I've been watching you. All these knights in Whitechapel pretending you're still a doctor. You believe you're just fighting a disease. But it's you, the disease. Jonathan, you! I'm a scientist. I'll find a solution. Let our mother go, please. You're always the one to sway me to reason, Jonathan. But before, your motivations were always pure. Now you're tainted. Let her go! She has no part to play in this. <sighs> Very well. Have you heard our good doctor? You can go home, mother. Go home and rest in peace. Yes, I'll go home and rest. <laughs> it's so easy to make them obey or forget puppets for our pleasure. I've seen you have your fun. You are mad. <laughs> So that's what I am, Doctor. Mad. I was beginning to wonder. I I've been hearing these voices in my head. One in particular. That of my dead brother. This is the reason I must kill you. Not for your betrayal. Not for our poisonous kiss. Not even for the lies you tell yourself. No. It's so that smooth and wicked voice will stop ringing in my ear. <laughs> Mary. No, don't! Time to die, brother. And this time for good. Assassin! You 
brother. Kill him. Revel in your true nature.
brother. Brother, it's time to bring this conversation to an end, forever. You know I will not play this game. Calm now, Doctor. Like a rabid dog. Or think you're performing an autopsy. Don't be ridiculous. I'll kill them all. The kind Doctor Swansea. The sweet little lass with hair of red. I am the Harbinger, bringing your punishment. Mary... Don't you see? This is not me. Flesh that never ages. All nightmare, no dream. Bring it to a close. Let me sleep. At last, I can forgive you. shed one last red tear for my fallen sister. I realize the entire world now revolves around this singular word. The epidemic that has stricken London is not the Spanish flu. It is transmitted through the blood via violent biting, turning survivors into frenzied immortals. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed. I am a vampire. Born anew into an age of death and pestilence, while plotting factions close in around me, I am sworn to find the source of this epidemic. I am convinced greater perils are still to come. I know the answers I seek are hiding in our blood.
Hello again, Mr. Thatcher. Yes, this neighborhood may stink of dog shit and reek of piss, but to me it smells like the purest mountain air. Do you want to talk about why you have this? No, I really don't. An irrational fear like yours is usually rooted... Well, Doctor, take a guess then, if you're so interested in my case. When I rescued you, you expressed joy. Jeez, you're good, Doc. You're really good. Go on, please. Tell me more about it. Newton and I were trapped in a circulation tunnel after an artillery attack. We were buried alive for several days without ever knowing if we'd be found. Oswald, tell me about what happened when you were buried in that tunnel with... It was more than dark. It was... What you endured was terrifying. It did not destroy Newton. Shameful thoughts. Tell me about them. At some point, I don't remember which day, but when I thought we'd never be rescued, that this would be our end, I thought... I thought about... I thought about... Say it, Mr. Thatcher. If you ever want to heal, you have to say it. I thought about what I could do to survive. Just for a few more days. I thought about killing Newton. Killing and eating him. The man I fucking love. true feelings for Newton. I love him. I'm not ashamed to say it. Why should you be ashamed? I'm not, I said. But Newton sees it differently. I admire your honesty. It takes courage to stand up to society. The world needs people like you to create change. Courage is what we needed in the trenches, looking death in the face every day. I speak plain. I speak my mind. Have you always been this straightforward? All I know is, before you saved me by the sewer. I Curry, have you... All I know is, before you saved me by the sewer, my only regret was I wouldn't be able to hold or kiss Newton again. I love him, that's all. Are you concerned about the conditions here in London? Not really. Sick people. Mr. Thatcher. No. Since I came back from the war, I... I understand what you mean. No. Nobody can truly understand what I've gone through. Why were you locked in that... I went by the canal after an argument. Why did you run? Newton wanted me to go to a hospital. Tell me about your cross... <sighs> That's what the bloody doctor said. But I don't want to go to a hospital to get checked again. I'll deal with it my own way. Do you need medical attention? Don't get me wrong, sir. I'm grateful f I'm certain you have your reasons. Uh, it is true. You... Goodbye, Mr. Thatcher. Try to take care of yourself. Not a good place for a stroll. Easy, Sergeant Boy!
As surely as you are the blood of my blood. I had to kill Mary! I have known your pain, child. Do not succumb to... Silence! I dismiss you, now! The land calls for a champion. All and everyone needs you. Silence! Tired of all these puppet shows. They want war. I'll show them war! Whatever this poor woman did, nobody deserves this kind of punishment. It's locked, all right. 